super excited. We're heading up to uh, pick up the green machine this morning. It's finally ready. Um, so we're heading up to uh, pick it up from the repairers. And then we're heading up to Foster for the weekend and catch up with the guys again from All or Nothing. Can't wait. Turn right now. Turn right now, Dad. Turn right now. You know where you're going? Turn that off now. Well, we're almost here. I'm getting excited to see what this van looks like now. It's just been, uh, how long has it taken me? Four, uh, four hours. Since. So what time we leave? Six. Thirty. And what time is it now? Um, ten, eleven, twenty-three. Yeah, so. We're doing pretty good. Alright, we're coming up now. Hanging to see what the green beast looks like. We made it. Let's head on into Carafix and check this out, eh? Girls are already excited. Mm. She is right up the back. What is it? The, the green, green machine. machine. Where is it? There she is. She's coming out. She's up the back. Let's go have a look. Look at all the caravans they got in here. They're towing the green machine. Yeah. It's called a green machine because it starts with so the It's a Carafix. Game. It's uh, just the northern side of Newcastle. You come over the bridge on the right hand side. So these guys do oh, absolutely they're towing your dad. everything here. Look, they've all named it the green machine. And it's been here for that long. It's named the green machine. The green machine. Here it comes. There you go, girls. There's the keys. Woo! There you go. Back on the road. Thanks, mate. <laughs> You're going to miss it. The people who help us fix our caravan. Which now dad is backing in to pick up the carriage. time it's ever been hooked up to the new car. Cool. Now where do you put that? Well, 
we finally got her back she is on the new truck she's actually not sitting too bad surprised there's no water in the tanks though so it's uh going to be uh a good thing to see how it tows stock standard with no water in the tanks we're just heading up to foster now so um we've got about another hour and a half drive up the highway and we'll uh, catch up with the guys from all or nothing for the weekend i'm excited we got the van back guys check it out looks like a brand new van Welcome. into our morning guys well i usually miss a lot of this stuff because we're that busy doing stuff we don't actually get a chance to video it without someone running around when it's just me and that doing it so um yeah well we've picked up the new ute and we had issues with the brake system on this caravan from the start back when we got it went in in adelaide and the guys that originally wired it Great Aussie did have an issue with these guys, they're no longer there, but um, they rewired the caravan brakes up incorrectly. So um, we've gone through now this morning, just pulled it all apart. We're having issues as we've set it up how it should be and we don't have any brakes, you'll see here. We've got constant power to the red arc, it's blue. Get rid of that crap. So here we go, we've got red arc. Red up blue, lights up, but when you put the foot on the brake, there's no actually brakes going to the van. If I run it manually, I do have the brake controller. So we can run it manually, but we're not going to because we've got a few hills and stuff to hit head and south. So um, we got into uh, the Red Arc site and it actually stated that we test it with the multimeter we can actually find where the 12 volt is and try and swap this wire around so when we put our foot on the brakes we get an active brake to the caravan which means i don't have to override it and do it manually so we've been doing this for about an hour now i've only just thought yeah i better get the camera out because we're having a bit of a break and it's something that you guys will probably come across at some stage so um we'll uh Keep going, I'll get some footage of this for you guys because it's really interesting for us to try and figure out as well on how we do it. So when you do lose your plug on the road and you will at one stage, you know kind of gotta work backwards from the start I suppose. So we're getting the multimeter out, we're gonna start. Quit your 
Well, we're just cutting them all and we're rewiring it. And scratch. We've tested the plug here and found out what goes where with all the bolts and stuff. So, um, hopefully put all this back together and we'll have some breaks, eh? Can only hope. <clears throat> all right, so we've got the multimeter out. We're just doing a bit of test here. You see here, pushing the brake, absolutely nothing to the uh, red art controller. Push this one here. You'll see it changes to red, purple, and orange. When it flashes like that, it means you've got no brakes. So, um, purple there. Yep, she's on, bro. I'm gonna have to reset it. And one thing you gotta do is reset them before you do any of this. So. What a nightmare, Sheldo. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> what a nightmare. This is funny games. Brand new van. Hooked up to our brand new car. That doesn't have caravan brakes on it. The caravan. Woohoo! Alright, well, we've come and guts her on this. You'll see. We got the power. I hold the foot down for five seconds. Watch what happens. She goes red. So um, and I can hear it ticking in the bottom. So dealers. All right. Well, we've got a blue to red, but it's really slow. So I think I've got to recalibrate this thing. Have a look. Put your foot on the brake, and she'll go to red. But after five seconds. So uh. It usually kicks in straight away. See that come up now? So what I'm gonna do is I'm uh, gonna leave the wires as they are at the moment. I've kind of found out what wire works, the brakes and stuff out of the caravan. Um, just a bit everywhere. But we're just gonna take it for a run down the street. So here we go. Got wires everywhere. But we're gonna take it down the road and um, I think that's the only way. Try and recalibrate this thing. And hopefully, we'll have brakes to get us home. What? Birds? They're so noisy, aren't they? Listen to that. Yeah, well, we just pulled up here at uh, Newcastle having a break. I hear them birds. I know it's raining. Oh, she's been bucketing down half the way, but I've got to say, this car's been towing the van really good. Just being a stock, it's, um, pulling it surprisingly well actually but we don't have any weight in there either so it's um it's dead empty there's nothing in the van it's just a shell basically but uh we got the brakes sorted i just had to um i forgot again with the camera i should have put it on there i had to recalibrate the brakes so what we did was we rewired all the the actual 12 pin plug and got the brakes sorted something's going on in there with the battery system where they're hooked up somewhere i don't know what's going on with it yet we'll check it out when we get home but the main thing was we've got the brakes going and recalibrated them and she's running brilliantly so uh we've probably got about another i think about five hours from here home now um, we should be getting home around about nine o'clock i think so it's not a bad run um this rain's kind of slowing us up but uh so far guys she has been running really good and i've got to say the 3.2 seems to be pulling this fan a bit better at the moment than the bi turbo um just the gear selections sitting just you know about 18 rpm just cruising around 9500 clicks just smooth as um i found with the bi turbo that the gears will always go up and down and it has trouble selecting its actual gears but um the 3.2 seems to be doing a really good job towing it. Alright, well, I'm going to get back in this thing. I've had my 10-15 minute break and we're going to hit the highway so we don't get home midnight. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll catch you later. Thank you. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, look at this.
Okay, so the storm can't even see a foot in front of us. It's coming out of Newcastle now. We said it was nice and the other side's just terrible. Here we go, we're coming out of it. Kai Emma Ignite. It is a winter festival we're having up here. They haven't had it for a couple of years because of COVID. Um, they've got like a markets, bands playing, all that kind of stuff. Um, ice skating, so we've got the kids booked in for some ice skating. So I'm uh, looking forward to it today to see uh, the Kai Emma festival. So uh, we'll head down. There's a lot of people here, like we're parked right up the top. See the oval and stuff. Yeah, so I'll uh, head down and we'll find this ice skating ring. It's booked in at 2 o'clock. It's going to be fun. We'll see you on the ring. It's a pretty cool little festival. Check it out. The bands, but we're going. Ice skating. Here we go. What are you doing, Liv? Hey? I don't know what one. This way. See how it says this way. Let's go check it out. Funny as I like the penguins. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I'm good. Once you get used to it, you just do it like roller skates. Uh, I'll come on and I'll help you in a minute. Or you want me to come behind you? Push a little bit with one, and that's Like this, Liv. So you're gonna slide heaps, eh? Hey? There you go. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna put this up now and have a go. Go, girls.
skaten. Vi kommer hjemme. Let's go find the kidlets, eh? I don't know where they are. There's so many people here, it is crazy, but it is fun. Where is Grace to live? I've lost them in this crowd. Oh, there she is, she's over there. We'll go find her, eh? Lose the kids everywhere in here. It's an adults fun playground. Look at it. <laughs> There's more adults and kids on here, I think, because the kids are having so hard time on the ice. Very slippery. Livy's finally got it, and it's like a last lap. Look at it go. Three toes. Oh, look, boot marks. It's all right, still a part of it, Liv. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little festival. We got a juggler over here, come check him out. Here he goes, look at him. So whichever pedal is lowest, you put your foot on that one first. And then take we can grab a hand each. That's right. We will you can mow them down. You're the one on the unicycle. Yeah, you put on the bottom, bottom one. Yep, and then it should go underneath you. Actually, it's just going to sink into the mud.
So ready to go again? So you're going to get that one first this time. Ready? So grab a hand. So that one first, and then just sit up and try and put your foot on the pedal. That's it. Don't, don't pedal. Don't pedal. Just sit up straight. Sit up straight. See how you're going forward like your head up. That's it. Up straight. Sit up straight. That's it. Sit up straight. Get your balance. Can you feel that? Thank you so much. That's all right. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. 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 O